Hey, it's Diana. Welcome back to our Mirror Mirror series where we talk about all things relationships. And hi, if you're new here, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film these weekly videos on my YouTube channel. So we're diving into all things relationships. And this week, I got a question in my DMs again, asking me about how to understand or figure out why you are having dreams about an ex and this is something that I feel like happens to so many of us where we dream about past relationships, people from our past, like not even just intimate relationships but family members, friends, that kind of thing. Lots of us have had dreams about people that we know or people that we've never actually met but that we feel some kind of like connection towards and stuff. So why you've had dreams about your ex and why you keep having dreams about your ex. This one is something that I had to learn myself and had to work through myself to be able to stop having these kind of dreams. And in my understanding and what I've come to realise in my own experience is that the reason why you are still having dreams about an ex, and I assume they're an ex for a reason, like it's somebody that you've chosen to let go of. So the reason why you keep having dreams about them is because energetically and emotionally, there's still a tie there. There's still a bond there. There's still a cord there, something that you haven't fully broken and let go of, even though maybe physically they're not in your life anymore. But our dreams are literally our subconscious speaking to us, like it's not for no reason, things don't happen by accident or by coincidence, they're happening for a reason and it's a message trying to tell you something. So what I would say is to pay attention to the dreams, maybe um, start a dream journal and actually write down your dreams in the morning when you wake up, if you can remember them, write down as much as possible about what happened but also write down how you felt in the dream because how you felt really does matter and does determine and help you decipher what that message actually means by how you in the dream was reacting you know whether you were happy whether you were sad that will tell you more about what the dream is actually trying to tell you so the dream is nothing to worry about it's nothing to stress about it's just your emotional body and your subconscious mind literally telling you like you haven't healed this thing so I'm going to keep showing up in your dream as a symbol as an image as a like almost like a film I'm going to keep showing up until you look at this and integrate this wound and heal this wound so that you can then move forward and then the dream won't happen anymore so it's just literally like a signal telling you that something needs your attention, something needs work, something needs your focus. So I would really look at the dream and look at what it's trying to tell you and then you can start to do the healing work to work through whatever it is that's happening, whatever that cord is, so that you can then let go of that person fully and really move on with your life you know because there's nothing worse than letting go of someone in your physical reality and then they keep popping up constantly and like things remind you of them and you get triggered left right and center about about memories essentially it's about memories of them that's what's coming up so your subconscious is literally just warning you and letting you know not even in a negative way but it's just letting you know that something is still there there's a wound there there's something that needs to be healed so it's not something to worry about, it's not something to fear, it's something to actually go into and look at so that it can then release. And I often find that it's not going to end, it's not going to leave, like the dream's going to keep coming until you actually do the work to understand it because it's essentially a lesson, you know? Like we can remove people from our lives, but if we haven't learned that lesson, we're going to continue attracting similar types of people. So it's really just letting you know that there's a lesson to be learned here, there's a wound to be healed, there's something to pay attention to. And when you go and look at that thing, you will then heal that aspect of yourself and stop having those dreams and also transform your life because then you won't attract similar types of people as well. So it's not a negative thing, but it is calling for your attention and it is something that you should definitely look at. So I really recommend a dream journal in case, um, because oftentimes we can't remember our dreams for a long time. Like you can remember them for the first bit when you first wake up, but then they kind of disappear out of your mind. So I would definitely write it down 
and then maybe over the week keep looking back at it and look at the patterns that it's showing you of like the recurring dreams that keep happening look back at what they're showing you and how you felt in those moments and stuff and you'll be able to uncover exactly what it's trying to say but only you will be able to uncover what it's trying to say because it's your mind it's your emotions it's your experience and your relationship and your lesson so it really is about yourself no one else can do it for you but it really will be liberating when you go into it and you start to uncover it because you're going to change your life so an example I could give because I obviously can't give specifics on your personal experience because I don't know what your experience is but just an example say that your dream is like I've had a dream before okay where I was literally screaming at the person but like no words were coming out so I don't know if you've ever felt that feeling before but it's absolutely horrible and like I remember it, I can feel it right now, I remember how that felt in that dream of like I was trying to say something and they weren't hearing me because no words were coming out but like they were oblivious and I just wanted them to hear me and it felt really uncomfortable so having experienced that dream and I remember how it felt, I know that that was like it was trying to tell me that I want to express myself that somebody whoever this person is is not listening to me and maybe I'm not even fully expressing myself either so there's a lack of communication there and that was my subconscious way of telling me that this is the wound that's happening that I'm not expressing myself I'm not communicating and the other person is not listening they're not hearing they're not they're not paying attention you know so then in my own life I can then choose what to do about that situation like do I choose to try and communicate or do I choose to cut the person off and there comes the action that you then need to take after you've become aware of the lesson and aware of the wound you can then do things about it you know but you have to be aware of what it is first to be able to change it so I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. All my links to my social media and my music and phone number and all of that will be in the description box below. And don't forget to also leave a comment if you have any kind of question or any topic that you want me to cover. You can also DM me, you can also text me. So yes, I hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next episode. Bye. Oh, yeah, I'm icy, coolin' in that white tea Oh, yeah, I think you like me Yeah, I'm icy, coolin' in that white tea Oh, yeah, I think you might I'm the thing you like, in my range all white Oh, yeah, I think you might I'm the thing you like, in my range all white